Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Josiah, Shiki, to the Mansmith Leadership Team, everyone behind this evening's celebration, Market Masters awardees and the organizations that they represent, and guests, a pleasant Friday evening to all of you. Tonight, I have the honor of introducing a giant on whose shoulders I stood and have seen further, or perhaps more aptly, learned how to cook up sweet success. I vividly recall my first interface with her as part of her team. Less than a week after landing in Kuala Lumpur, then a first-time young Filipino expatriate, she told me, Kakam, you will not be in Malaysia forever. Yikes. Luckily, she didn't mean that she wanted to ship me back. She merely emphasized that on top of all deliverables, developing people must also be priority in order to ensure continuity and business sustainability. Later that day, I joined her family to attend Sunday service. All in a day's work, this is my first day high. It would also be the start of more conversations and learnings with her, spanning work to life advices, not just for me, but also for my wife. Fast forward to my last day in Kuala Lumpur, hands full with a two-month-old firstborn and wife in tow, she and her family saw us off as friends. Such is my mentor, a combination of being tough and demanding with a smile, but at the same time emphatic, sometimes spicy, although never sour, but at the same time always satisfyingly filling, much like a hot bowl of Maggi curry, the best curry in the world. Her generous guidance broadened my appreciation of business, moving from just pure marketing towards general management, with greater appreciation of end-to-end -end value streams and cross-functional systems. In the end, this shift in mindset proved crucial in the turnaround journey we started, and most important, one that continues to shape and strengthen how I navigate the challenges that I face today. Sometimes I wonder where she draws the energy or strength to be all these, and at the same time, deliver over and beyond. She really is one tough cookie, or in this case, more aptly, a tough foodie. In closing, I am, I am reminded by a line from Ernest Hemingway, and it goes, the world breaks everyone, but some are strong at the broken places. I guess this line best describes her. While her stints always came with very challenging circumstances, from steering a business, with the factory just closed down, or steering challenges, uh, a, a business which is about to lose market leadership. Her determination and clear-eyed optimism proved stronger than the headwinds she faced, cooking up the turnaround of our business in Malaysia and bringing it to its strongest position and laying the groundwork for it to continue. These are the pillars of her humble leadership, values she consistently demonstrates and spreads to those around her. The world breaks everyone, but some are strong at the broken places. Ladies and gentlemen, my giant, my mentor, the unbreakable, and our Mansmith Market Master, Ms. Rosaline Aquino Silva. Our next Mansmith Market Masters Awards winner is Ms. Rosa Simba. This is Executive Officer for Food and Dairy Culinary and Senior Vice President of Nestle Philippines. First of all, thank you so much, Kakam, for that heartwarming message. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is definitely an honor to be here. 
Thank you to the people behind Mansmith and Fielders, Josiah, Chiki, Matt, your leadership team, for organizing this event and giving a platform for marketing mentors like uh, Robert, Ken, and Dennis to be recognized. I remember when I was younger, I would attend awards or recognition nights to receive medals for things like, simple things like best in reading, uh, most well-groomed loyalty awards. And I would really feel this deep sense of joy, not only for myself, but for my parents who helped shape me as I was growing up. My parents were my first mentors. Receiving awards have also given me a sense of pride because it is something you worked hard to reach. It gives a sense of accomplishment for a goal you have achieved. Even though I'm receiving an award for mentorship tonight, I would prefer not to look at this as a goal that I have achieved. I believe mentorship is a mission, a commitment to pay it forward every time you learn something new. Someone has invested time and energy to teach me life skills, and it is my mission to pass that on. Tonight, I share this recognition to my life mentor, my husband, Dodi, who is here with my son, Arvin, and Kat my daughter, Kathleen. I also give honor to my peer mentors who I invited here, Arlene, Alex, and uh, Joey. They're all here tonight to support me um, as they have done throughout my career in Nestle. I actually met my mentee. I'm not so used to call you mentee, Kakam, but I met Kakam and now our family friend when he was just starting his career in Nestle. During that time, he was already a recognized marketeer managing the growing Maggie business in the Philippines. I was already on expatriation assignment in Nestle, Malaysia then, and I had this huge challenge to turn around the noodle business there. One time, I visited Nestle Philippines, and I boldly asked the business unit head of Maggie Philippines if she has a high potential talent that she's willing to send abroad for development. She pointed me to Kakam, and so I sought him out and asked him, Kakam, are you open to join me in KL? You know, it's ironic that my mentorship journey with Kakam started due to selfish reasons. I needed a person that I believe has potential, talent, and can get things done. Kakam, on the other hand, wanted to accomplish great things in his career, and so he embraced the ambiguity of working in a new country. But just like any OFW, we both worked hard to prove our worth. Throughout our years working together in Malaysia, Kakam and I would actually exchange roles as mentor and mentee often because we had to rely on each other to succeed. I was asked tonight to share some of my mentorship and marketing lessons. In my life story, I would like to believe that these two are actually intertwined. Those moments when I learned a great marketing lesson or took on a challenge are the same moments when I learned how it is to be a good mentor. So allow me to share two moments that I remember the most. So the first one, I call it, how to be you moment. During my very first stint abroad, I reported to a French boss. He was not so happy with the progress of one of our projects, so he called me into his room and told me, you know, you need to be more aggressive. If you want to succeed, you have to act like a man. So of course, I have great respect for men, but honestly, I was very stunned. <laughs> I was trying to assess, is this just a French-English thing, or did he really mean it? But the feisty part of me fought back. So I answered him, don't ever ask me to be a man because I will never be one. If you are not happy with my performance at the end of this project, then say so, but never ask me to be someone I am not. Good thing he didn't ship me back to Manila. But from then on, I pushed myself to deliver more than what was expected, 
and I led the deployment of a critical consumer and cuisine segmentation work across Asia, driving development of regional innovation pipelines for culinary. I hurdled cultural differences to align different markets towards a common goal. And I realized later on that while I was hurt by my boss remark then, he actually did me a favor by giving me a hard challenge, a wake-up call. And I appreciated that I learned how it is important as a mentor to be genuine and authentic to the people that I lead. The second story, I will call it Always Make It Your Finest Hour Moment. I have been in Nestle for 20 years and I have seen big waves of marketing challenges during my time in the food business. First big wave was when we lost leadership of the noodles market and I was asked to take over the food department because the head stepped down. And it was during that, ta that time when we just closed our factory. I felt I wasn't ready, but my boss then, interestingly, he was also French, told me that, you know, you will never be ready. You just have to do it. So I took the challenge of revitalizing Maggie. My attitude then was, well, I'm still young. My husband has a good job. He can take care of me, so I had nothing to lose. I took the risk of challenging the status quo and launched what would later facilitate one of the most successful business turnaround in Nestle. We developed a winning product called Maggie Magic Syrup All-in-One Seasoning by answering an underserved, an underserved need and went after the big giants in the culinary market during that time. So the company where Ken worked before <laughs> and also Ajinomoto. Very few actually believed that that idea, that product would work. But we made it our finest hour and modeled courage by successfully launching this product in half the time it will normally take. I met a similar wave again when Kakam and I worked together in Malaysia, tasked to turn around noodles, but this time, we, had, we have the chance to prevent what happened to Philippines years ago. But you can imagine how scared I was that lightning would strike twice in my career. But they say, our struggles determine our success. So after putting together a highly skilled and motivated team to beat competition, which included Kakam, of course, plus learning from failures in my home market, we managed to reignite the growth of the Malaysian noodle business and gain share year after year. What I learned here is that every challenge is an opportunity to shine and be a good model to your mentee. So even if it is very scary, make it your finest hour. Definitely being authentic and striving to turn your challenges into your finest hour are two of my most favorite lessons in leadership. As Winston Churchill has put it, success always demands greater effort. Mentorship definitely demands effort, authenticity, and genuine care. As leaders in the industry, I'm very happy to see that we have a group here that makes developing and recognizing talents their life mission. I wish all of you continued success as you pursue excellence in marketing, leadership, and talent development. We are making a difference not only in business, but also in our mentees' lives. Thank you again for this recognition and the opportunity to share my story with all of you. A very good evening.